Hello and welcome to the Software Asset Management Specialist Certification Training from One World Training. ITAMOR offers guidances for IT asset management, including software, hardware, services and cloud, and people and information asset management. We have partnered with Van Huren Learning Solutions to become an accredited educational partner for delivering this course. ITAMOR offers career path for professionals working in the field of IT asset management. This begins with the foundation certification. We hope you have already completed that, though it is not mandatory to do that in order to get the software or the hardware specialist certification. The software asset management and the hardware asset management specialist certifications are particularly for practitioners of software and hardware asset management. About One World Training. We are a global training company having our offices in the USA, the UK, the Netherlands, India, Malaysia, UAE, South Africa, and many other countries globally. We provide training in IT, business management, project management, ISO standards, GDPR, and many other trainings for individuals as well as organizations. We deliver in our courses in five ways, public classroom based, it can be online or virtual as well, even e-learning or a mix of e-learning with support provided when needed, or on-site training at the user's location, for both private and government organizations. We are authorized by several leading global professional bodies to deliver these courses. About myself, my name is Murali Dargadam or Murali in short, I'm a certified trainer and course advisor for several subjects such as ITIL4, PMP, Project Management Professional, Prince2, Project in Controlled Environments, Prince2 Agile, MSP, Managing Successful Programs, Veryism, which is value-driven, evolving, responsive, and integrated service management, Agile Scrum Master, with more than 25 years of IT experience in software development and support, projects management, program management, and having worked with teams across the globe. I'm a computer engineer by education and a certified corporate trainer and coach. Let us look at the course objectives. By the end of this course, you would have gained the knowledge and skills to comprehend software asset management as a practice, understand the SAM life cycle, know the generic concepts and definitions, understand key principles and models used behind the processes, understand SAM roles and responsibilities, and comprehend the technology and architecture of SAM. This certification is provided for software asset managers and for IT professionals who have little understanding of the IT asset management area, who typically work in multifaceted computing environments with, of small, medium, or large companies, and who need appropriate knowledge to implement and maintain an effective SAM program. In fact, you will have an overall understanding of many other things apart from what have been listed here on this slide, such as the software asset management role in relation to understanding the risks, costs, challenges, and benefits associated with SAM in a dynamic IT environment, understanding different types of licensing models, commonly used by software suppliers, recognizing the potential issues that arise when implementing a SAM program, gathering the required information about organizational environment into which the SAM program is being implemented, developing a comprehensive business case for SAM to gain commitment to the SAM project, understanding the key SAM processes required to ensure the effective SAM program, specifying requirements for evaluating and selecting correct tools for SAM, developing and communicating the related software policies, understanding how SAM interfaces with IT service management, including ITIL and other best practices, planning for the development and implementation of all SAM policies, procedures, and tools, establishing and maintaining a database containing the data relevant to SAM, understanding how to control all activities associated with the software lifecycle, detecting, escalating, and managing all exceptions with respect to policies, processes, procedures, and licenses in a correct manner, Managing all relationships with the business, within the business, and with partners and suppliers externally to the agreed service levels, and continually assessing the effectiveness of policies, the effectiveness, that is, of policies and procedures in relation to the different tiers, tier one, tier two, and tier three, as we will see later on. So this SAM course is based on the software asset management best practices and standardizations. It actually combines the IT service management best practice with the software asset management standard from ISO, which is ISO 19770. 
typical challenges businesses face are businesses are fully becoming dependent on IT. They are under pressure financially due to competition and also pressure from customers. IT infrastructure becoming more complex. Software has become a gatekeeper for cybercrime. There is a lot of focus on agile development of software and agile ways of working. It is essential to keep software under control in a mobile world with the people using multiple devices rather than just the usual PCs or laptops. Software licensing has become complex and you might have recognized or experienced some of these already. In a classroom setting, it's the three-day program wherein day one, we cover key concepts of SAM, SAM principles. Day two, we continue with SAM principles and then we do SAM practices. And day three is implementation of uh, SAM tier one, tier two, and tier three. It is possible that during the three days, there is a slight shifting of topics depending on how much gets covered on every day. However, in an online course like this, in an e-learning course, specific, particularly like this, um, It'll all be up to you on how you want to proceed with the recordings. But in general, you will be becoming familiar with the, the concept of software asset management, the SAM principles, the SAM interfaces, SAM activities, how to implement SAM, what are the SAM benefits, costs, problems, and risks, and also about SAM compliance and audits, and uh, the roles and responsibilities in SAM, and some of the organizational challenges to implement SAM, and a justification or a business case for SAM, and how does SAM work with these processes and how do they relate to other best practices. The exam can be taken as soon as the training is over or it can uh, be done better after some more preparation. If you have taken the ITEM foundation already, you would know that ITEM consists of hardware asset management, software asset management, services and cloud asset management, and people and information asset management. We are right now in the software asset management certification scheme. Exam for software asset management specialist is a one hour exam with multiple choice questions, 40 questions overall, four zero questions, that is no negative marking. It's a closed book exam. You need to obtain 26 out of 40 to pass the exam, which is 65% score. And the questions are at three levels. Some questions would be at a basic recall, like a memory recall and retention type of question. Uh, other types of questions would be more understanding of the terms and concepts and definitions, processes, policies, procedures, roles and responsibilities, etc. And then there'll be some application questions as well. For you to explore more information, we have given you some links, web links. But if you need to get more clarity about the exam procedures, you may want to look up the vhls.global website as well. So we are going to have six sections coming after this uh, introduction to the SAM course. Uh, we are currently in section one, which is introduction to the SAM course, but we will soon get into section two, three, four, five, six, and seven with separate recordings. In fact, section two and three will have two recordings each because they are covered in two parts. All the other sections, including this one, are single recording only. Single separate recordings, that is. The marks are allocated across these six areas. Key concepts, 10% marks. SAM principles and SAM practices, 15% each. And the SAM implementation, is a major area, 60% of marks are covered in the sample implementation and 30% each reserved for tier one, tier two, and tier three implementation, which are the three tiers of maturity in SAM. If you have done the item foundation course, you will recognize that there are three tiers of even item maturity, item arc. In, in the ISO item standard, we have about four tiers of maturity, which map to the item or three tiers of maturity. 